in this presentation, we want to customize tags on the Morland diagram. So we want to show you how we can put the tags in the best way in the, on the Morlan diagram on the same First, I remove this part and then right now I want to show you how we want to put the tags. Go to tags, customize, and then for this, first we select default tags. For the default tag based on this, I put input data. Input data, maybe we have a lot of tags for input data, input data number one. So I put it input data number one. I remove all the previous parameters. Then I click on, I don't need connection for the devices. What we need for shared capacitor, shared capacitor, I need only capacitor ID. Okay, so it will be name of the capacitor and then total capacitor wire and then uh, control. And then I go to um, line and cables. Line and cable, I need cable. For cable, what I need is equipment ID, so it will be name of the cable. And then section ID, phase, okay, because we don't have a phase in the um, industrial, we have all uh, almost it's a uh, three phase. I don't need it. So I put it length of the cable based on meter. So it will be based on meter here. What else for the cable uh, we need? Uh, for example, number of cables in parallel. Number in parallel. For example, we have two runs or three runs per. Well, okay. Equal to. Okay, I put it in here, click on cables, and here I can see number of cables. Oh my god. Uh, spacing. Okay, something else I'll okay, remember. Spacing ID. Let's put a spacing ID is a tower. So I put it a spacing ID. In the next tab, it will be tower type. Oh, it's for cables. My god, it's, uh, I did mistake. So I put it for the overhead lines. So it will be tower, tower type. So I come back to cable again. There is number of cable in parallel. Again, go to cable, a line and cables, and number of cables in parallel. What else? Let's see if we want to see there is section length okay, that we have. Conductor, okay, for cable. Maybe there is a, the conductor also is for overhead line. That's it. I think uh, we have a lot of parameters as uh, to step down, impedance of the cable. Everything is there, but I think we don't need more than this. That's it for overhead line. Uh, what I need, let's come back to cables, copy paste this uh, top part, and then here, copy paste here. So here we have tower type and what is conductor. Conductor type. Okay, conductor type for overhead line. I click here. Again, go to line and cable and conductor uh, type. Conductor ID. Okay, conductor ID. And rated current. I can also put rated current and rated current. Okay, rated current. Also, I put it. Uh, so lines and cables, I put it rated color. That's it. So this is for uh, old line and cables. I go to motor and load, induction motor. What I need is equipment ID. So it will be name of the motor, rated power, rated speed. We have a lot of data we can put for motor. Let's say, for example, I of nominal equal to, so I click nominal motor, general parameter. So I go to full load current, rated load current, okay. And then what I need is I start or light rotor current. Click again and motor and load, uh, general motor. It is uh, light rotor, motor, uh, I think it will be induction motor, light rotor. Power factor, no, it's a, a come back here. 
lag rotor current. I think it should be rated current, full load power vector, lag rotor current. Okay, motor lag rotor current. That's it. And we have something more nice here uh, that I created. I S base ampere unit that I created before. Okay, uh, so we can uh, I can have any customized value inside. This is the new customized value I have prepared it before. So here we can see there is the expression, there is the equation. I can put the motor lag rotor current divided by motor rated current. So the value of the starting current will be obtained based on per unit. So I, of course this is the case. And uh, for motor, what else? I have number of motor, number of motor. Okay, for example, I model a motor, but this motor consists of 10 similar motors, so I can show how many motors, so it will be motors in parallel, so it will be motor number, uh, motor, mm, I have to find it here. NEMA code, of course we have NEMA code, load configuration, number of motor, okay, motor count, motor count, that's it, and what else we have, a uh, spot load, for a spot load we need a name of the load, okay, section ID, kilowatt, kilowatt, that's it, synchronous motor, we don't care right now about synchronous motor, we have to go to source, for source, you have synchronous generator, synchronous generator, equipment ID, so it will be name, desired voltage, and therefore generator, it will be uh, active power, active power, what else we need, uh, it's uh, uh, S, the power and power, okay, Apparent power and what else we need? Uh, it's a Q max. Uh, Q max. Maximum reactive power. Okay. So here, active power. I click on a source and generator. Generator general. Uh, I think I go to synchronous generator. Here is. Uh, maximum desired voltage, things uh, uh, maximum uh, of reactive power. Let's uh, put this maximum reactive power here. Okay, that's it. A power and power. So a power and power. I go to general here, and it's really nominal capacity. And then after that, we need uh, active. Again, click on. Uh, source and generator, it will be general, so it will be active, generation, power factor, also I can put it as a power factor, power factor equal to, again, source and generators here, uh, power factor for the general, uh, power factor, all the parameters also are here, speed also are here, that's it. For the sources, let's go to four sources, uh, ID, it will be name of this, and then for type, I think it should be type here, and then what else we need, we need voltage, uh, of course nominal voltage, Vn, okay, I put it as a source, substation, it will be nominal voltage, then I put it operating voltage, VO equal to, it means operating voltage, I put it as a substation, the desired voltage, we name it desired voltage and capacity, okay, capacity here, capacity equal to, again, source, substation and the denominator. All the parameters are here. Zero sequence impedance, positive sequence impedance of equivalent, voltage phase angle. Okay, for uh, for the voltage here we have we need angle. Angle equal to gain to the source. 
go to substation and voltage angle it's okay it is available okay right now what we have we have buses or buses we have bus id so it will be name of the bus bar name and what we have voltage voltage ll equal to I put it VLL and balance voltage. Uh, I think for the nodes only, uh, what I click, node ID is enough. That's it. For all the equipment here, I select here to have a, a size of around 100%. And then background should be transparent. And then there is a display tag arrow. Uh, and um, display hyperlink on IDs is okay. Uh, always horizontal. No, I don't want that if he always horizontal. And uh, that's it. Apply to all. Save it and show it. So right now you can see that okay, these uh, tags are, are a bit big. So I go to tags uh, a property. I go to this reference. So I put it 15. So uh, I think it's better, but uh, there is a border. I don't want to have any border here. So again, I come back here and click on no border for all of these. So the border will be removed. Okay, that's it. Let me go here. Also here, you can see all these tags. I want to, for example, rotate these tags. It's possible. So I rotate all the tags here so it will be more nice than before okay and also you can see when you when there is a hyperlink between the tags when you uh, double click on the tag it shows you the data of the cables so it's more nice okay for this next one I'm customizing this and okay that's it Finish. I think this is for the load. That's okay. So nice tags are available here. This is for input data and for this bus bar is only I think the voltage of this bus bar has not been shown uh, for other bus bar. I think the voltage uh, we didn't show the voltage here. So we have to go to basic voltage uh, to show the voltage. Okay. I think we have to revise this the voltage so I have to go to nominal voltage okay equal to so I go to V voltage we have balance voltage kilovolt a line to line a balance kilovolt line to current uh, let me see voltage line to run input voltage okay let's see this input voltage if it's working or not working uh, no uh, the input voltage will not work I want to show you the voltage okay uh, there is a lot of tags but okay when you do one time everything will appear later so we need another item. I'll remove this VLL. It should be, I think, something same for the bus bar. So base voltage. Okay, base voltage. We need this base voltage. That's it. So we put base voltage here. So all the bus power has a base voltage based on kilovolt. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, I want to do something more nice. I want to um, customize uh, these colors. So here, for example, I put it color of blue. I put the, these pink. I put this one. Uh, brown I put this on another color green for the source I put another color I don't know I just want 
it, it, it be different from other colors so it will be look like more better so right now you can see okay so the color will be better much better and when you click here also the color here so we can see more uh, it will be more clear than before okay this is for the input data I save this uh, but uh, I want to tell you something uh, when you do uh, one time do it you don't need to do uh, customization anymore you do one one time you customize one tag and you keep this tag forever how can I do I, I go to tags and property customize I export this for example I export this as a for example this is tag number two okay so input tag number two this is the previous tag I prepared it so I want to export it export input tag number one to a name okay so I keep this then I delete this when I delete this you can see that these tags are not in our software anymore so suppose that you lose your windows what happened something bad happened you lose your windows you uninstall sign then again install it do you think that you have to do customization again no never you just import it go here tags and you import the file okay I have this import finish import the tags this is that's it finish so right now again you have all the tags very nice on your one line diagram okay these tags were created for uh, input data for the load follow we will create another tag in the next presentation thank you for your time uh, to see this presentation thank you and we'll see you in the next presentation